Hello. In this video, we are going to take our, our GUI program, which consists of, since this runs, there it is, which consists of two tabs, and we're going to add some elements to it. Um, again, the way to think about this is the root is our main window. This tk.tk, this constructs our main program window that everything kind of goes inside of. And then what I can do is I can create what's called a tab control, and I can put the tab control into the root, and then I can add the specific tabs into the tab control. Um, we just have to, once you get that picture of how things are being kind of put together, and again, these videos aren't about drawing out that picture, I'm really just showing the coded structure to it, um, it's pretty easy to kind of navigate adding elements. So I'm going to add an entry into tab one. And you'll notice that I've used a naming convention here, that is, that that makes sense, ENT1, T1, and I'm gonna create an entry object, and entry object, I'm gonna put it into tab one. This is the difference if you watch my video about creating entry in the main window, is in the past I've been adding the, the entry into the root, but now I'm adding it into tab one. And then I have to do the same thing, entry tab one dot pack. And that's all there is to it. I could do the same thing, Ooh, ENT1, tab 1, there we go, that's better. Button 1, tab 2, equals TK dot button, tab 2. Text equals button 2. And then I can do BTN1, tab 2, dot pack. And then I have my root dot main loop, which should be at the bottom because that's what kind of sets this computer up into a, a wait and hold pattern, waiting for the user to do something that it can respond to. And if I run this, tab one, there's my entry, hello, enter, tab two, there's my button that I can click. Now, let's do one more thing. Let's give the button some, let's just link the button to a function so that it does something. And we can do that simply by saying command, um, equals, and then I'm going to use the lambda notation, lambda click. We'll call the function clicked. And then I have to come up here and I have to make a definition at the top, definition click. This is called a function. And all I'm going to do is print button clicked. So now if I come down and I give this a run, and I come over to tab two and I click, the function should run, but it doesn't seem to. Let's see if I can figure out what's going on here. Clicked. Hmm. Okay, I paused that and I caught my mistake. Okay, this is a nice little thing to catch up. So what I did was I did this and it wasn't working. Lambda clicked. Um, and I ran it. And I should be able to then select tab two and click on the button. And you notice it doesn't work. If it worked, there should be something printing down in this section. What was happening was because when you use the lambda, lambda notation to link a function, you have to actually use the, the bracketed notation. So now if I run this, I go into tab two and I click, there you go, it works. Um, if I didn't use the lambda notation, that would work okay as well. In this case, I don't need the lambda notation because I haven't created, I haven't passed any parameters into this function. But, but sometimes, you know, depending on what you want to do. Okay, let's take this and let's add, let's bind the return key to this. So I'm going to say entry one, tab one, dot bind. So we're going to use this instance method called bind. It's an instance method because I have an implied object there saying bind, who am I binding to? This entry one. We're gonna bind return. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna bind the function um, hit return. So now I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna make another function called hit return. And I'm gonna print user pressed return and put a space there. 
and I'm going to give this a run. So if I come in here and I say, hello, enter, I get a nice error. Ah, so my error here is because this is the situation, this is an area you'll see from time to time, is because when I press return, it passes all the information to the function as an event. Um, one way to solve this problem is to do a wildcard parameter, star args, and that just means be prepared for anything that might be sent to this function. So I run that um, and I hit the user press return. But a better way to do this is to do a little reading about what the parameters that are passed. And in this case, you get an event parameter that I haven't talked about what to do with it, but that solves the problem as well. Generally speaking, at this stage, you're, you're probably using wildcard parameters sometimes. And again, wildcard parameters mean they can expect anything, but you know, best practices dictate you don't want to use wildcard parameters when, when you can afford it. Okay, I hope this video helped. Have a wonderful day.